What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Foodie has put up a video and I gotta say, I just want you to understand the perspective of where we are. She started a couple channel months ago when she moved over to Kuwait, married Salah, and they were going to do this. 10,000 subscribers was the goal. Now, three to 5,000 views a video is the goal, right? So she put up a video that got taken down by her, then put it back up. A lot of people, myself included, said, why is this not on the couple's channel? She has not put anything up on this channel for just about a week. And then today, she puts up a video on her channel that's probably going to get the same amount of views, if not slightly more, than it would have on the couple's channel where people pay to see content of them together. This video starts out as if it was a couple's vlog that she wants to push to her main channel because she wants to secure as much income as possible through the views on these videos using a larger platform. So we start off with an awkward them kind of holding hands, them going to this restaurant together, and this is what's normal for their couple's channel, not her channel on their own. Every time she goes out to one of these restaurants, and I mean every single time, we hear about these private booths. It is part of the culture, Chantal. You can love it all you want, but you need to accept that you cannot continue to be shocked and surprised by their culture. This is how they handle things there. You are supposed to be converting. How you don't understand these things beyond me. She then starts to go through the menu, and there's a point here where she looks for paneer, and I swear I could not help but think when she starts to talk how much she misses paneer. I thought to myself, does this person miss the paneer, or do they miss the person that used to make them the paneer? Because if you don't know, she once infamously drove all the way over to Dee Dee's, and I don't mean Natter's, I mean Dee Dee's apartment to get leftover paneer that Dee Dee and Natter had ate because that's how bad she wanted it. She then tried to persuade everyone this was for a video to compare Natter's paneer to store-bought paneer. So here she is with her husband eating the favorite meal of her ex and talking about how she's craving it and how much she loves it. She then gets a sauce that she's not familiar with, with some chips, and she eats this as if she's never had this before. She doesn't know what it is. She asks for comments, which, let's be honest, if you're in a restaurant and you're served something and you don't know what it is, someone in the restaurant is going to tell you. This, again, is her plea for people to interact. Post in the comment section if you know what this soda in a blue can is, because I've never seen this blue can soda before that has a red and white circle on it, so please help me understand what I'm drinking. Chantal, no one is this naive. She then gets more food, and then the sizzler platter comes out. Now, Salah meets this sizzler platter and looks relatively overwhelmed, okay? He then pushes it over towards her. She talks about this being different than anything she's ever had, right? And if you notice, on her fork, there is a piece of broccoli. She then says, seconds later, this is broccoli, one of my favorites. It just shows the projection that she doesn't understand what she's doing. She doesn't have anything in mind. She doesn't have a concept. Everything has to be the best, the greatest. I've never had this before. We have to fake so much of what we're talking about and project how great things are in this land that we don't even take time to signify I'm eating broccoli. Case in point, she says later on, I don't like lamb, right? I don't like lamb, but I think this restaurant I found the way that I can eat it. All I needed was it prepared from this restaurant and the meat is tender, not chewy. We'll have to come back here. They've got the best lamb, guys. Now, I know a lot of people have talked about a type of content that she seems to be making on her channel and I just want to offer to you a fact, okay? I don't know what that type of content looks like. I'm not someone that partakes in watching people eat. I've seen mukbang videos just because they're on the platform. But I will say, watching someone eat from the 5 minute and 39 second mark to the 14 minute and 6 second mark, when there is someone else in the room and she literally eats till she admits she feels uncomfortable, you can see how much food she has eaten during this time, and she projects that she's had enough. She doesn't want to eat anymore. 
Then, she does really one of the most disturbing things I've seen her do in a video. After eating all this food, she takes us into the bathroom. And she says, here, a bidet. Every bathroom should have a bidet. And then takes a picture of her in the mirror of the bathroom. I've never seen someone go out to a restaurant by all accounts, overeat, film themselves eating nearly 10 minutes straight. So this video is 14 minutes and 44 seconds long. From the 5 minute and 40 second mark to the 14 minute and 6 second mark, two thirds of this video is simply her eating. That is not her normal content. This if you're just looking at it from a bird's eye view, is a rather distinct change in the content she's been creating. Now, I will say in the beginning of this video, she offered, hey, this is a restaurant style likes. This is something that a lot of people go to. They're known for this. So there was a little bit of that kind of couples channel element of this is what we're going to do with our day. This is why we're going to do it. Here's a little bit of a background. Here's us going out to the restaurant. I cut out the B-roll footage of them driving. I cut out the B-roll footage of them walking into the restaurant. Those things are inherent to these videos. However, there was so much less about the actual food and there was so much more actual eating in this video than anything I've ever seen her do before. This felt like it could have been a live stream that got condensed down to what we would normally see turned into an hour video. And I would offer again, I've never seen somebody complete the process, if you will. Go to the restaurant, eat all the food, go to the bathroom while at the restaurant. There's just something not normal about that. There's just something unsettling about that. You know, I understand tons of people in this world like tons of different things. I understand there's an avenue for content creators and people that accept that content. But it's odd to me that we see such a drastic change so quickly where all of a sudden we've never seen her eating with her hands and she's force feeding herself, removes the video out of embarrassment, and then now here we are at another restaurant not so much eating with our hands, but clearly eating to the point we're not comfortable and then having to use the facilities why we're there. If you've watched Chantal for a long time, I want you to comment, and I'm not trying to fake engagement like she is with what is this soda that I'm drinking. When is the last time you can recall you were watching her and she openly said, I've ate too much, I can't eat anymore, I've met my limit. Because this is someone that I watch where they'll make a meal, they'll go to make their dinner, and before they make their dinner, they're having snacks as they go. They're eating parts of the dinner as they make the dinner. I've never seen her say, I've had too much, I'm full, I'm done eating. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful with that, I'm just trying to put a perspective on videos we've never seen her make before that may be catering to a completely different audience, why, oh by the way, she has two paying membership spaces that aren't getting the couple's content, at least for the last week, that they've expected to see. Love to know your thoughts on this, appreciate you watching this video, and you know, hopefully, not with a video that makes you uncomfortable, like we just saw Foodie make. I will be back as soon as I can with more content.